10 1 to 10 4 practice test continuing number two here they have given us the end point one of the endpoints of a segment that's at negative 3 2 and the other point that they have given us is actually the midpoint of the segment that's at 5 8 so this is one of the endpoints let's call it a this is the midpoint let's call it m and the other point is somewhere here as you can see if this is going to be the segment well maybe i underestimated okay so this is b and that's what we're solving for so a is negative 3 2 m is at 5 8 and b we're finding its coordinates and that we'll call that x y now we know midpoint of two points is the average of the two x's and the average of its two y's, okay? So this is our x1, that's our y1. This is our x2, y2, that's what we're solving for. And this is the midpoint. So five comma eight is negative three plus x2, that's what we're solving for, over 2, and 2 plus y2 over 2. See, normally we're given the two endpoints and we're solving for m. Here, we're given m and we're solving for one of the endpoints, so we're working backwards. So we're going to set each of these match the x's with the x's so 5 is the average of negative 3 and another number and 8 is the average of 2 and another number now we're going to put 5 over 1 and plus multiply we're going to put 8 over 1 and plus multiply So 10 is equal to negative 3 plus x2. So 13 is the x coordinate. Solving for y, 16 is equal to 2 plus y2. So 14 is the y coordinate. Let's see if that makes sense. That means the other point, which we call b, is at 13 comma 14. So if we extend this, 13 would be somewhere here, and 14 would be somewhere here, which would put us right there. So that does make sense. Always check for whether it makes sense or not.